What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. I am right in the middle of my transmission swap. I bought a Synchrotech rebuild transmission and I just got the old one out. I'm transferring a couple of the old parts from this one to that one. I have all the or well, most of the parts that came out of the car right here. I'm gonna clean these before I even think about putting those back into the car. And I'm also waiting on parts. I'm waiting on an OEM pilot bearing because I figured while I have the clutch and flywheel out, well, while I have the transmission out, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and get a new pilot bearing and a new exity throwout bearing. But anyways, that's a whole nother project that's going on. Just wanted to tell you why my car is in here and there's transmissions in the background and all that. But this, this video is going to be about that right there. So less than six months ago, me and my dad put all new brakes on this. And I mean like brand new calipers, new pads, cryogenically treated rotors. So, I mean, this is, this is really good stuff on here. And we also redid the rear brakes as well. New drums, new wheel cylinders, new hardware, new shoes. All this brake hardware is just about new, but one thing I forgot or neglected to do is before I put on the brand new drums is I did not paint them. So as you can see, they are very rusted out. It's not so bad with these wheels. These are the OEM wheels, which came with some hubcaps on them. I took the hubcaps, hubcaps off and I refinished these wheels. Um, I have some pictures up on my Instagram if you want to check that out. But anyways, repainting these black and these cover up the drums pretty well but let me show you this here soon i'm going to be putting on these bad boys right here hx wheels i love these wheels and and they're lightweight they're 14 inches they're made by nk so they're a really good solid brand i have these were painted i stripped them down I sanded them with my Dremel and then I have been wet sanding them with just some sandpaper by hand. So I have two more wheels to go with, with wet sanding and then I am going to mount them uh, or I'm going to mount some, have some tires mounted. I'm going to do some uh, 200 tread wear tires on them because those wheels I plan on taking to the track. So first I'm going to put the tires on them or get the tires put on them. Then I'm going to paint them. I bought some some white enamel paint and I w I've always wanted a, a set of white wheels so I'm going to paint them white and then I have the OEM Honda's uh, little tiny hubcap that goes in the middle with the H on it. I'm going to paint the H red, the, the Honda red, uh, Milano red. So anyways, that's the plan. There you go. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this. So what I want to do right now or today is while I have the car, you know, jacked up and everything and I'm waiting on parts, I'm going to do this project. I'm going to go ahead and take off the wheel, take off the drum, sand the drum down. Let me show you what kind of paint I got. All right. This is the paint I have right here. This is VHT caliper paint. Good up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, what's this one doing here? Wrinkle plus. Uh, maybe I'll get to that one in a different video. That will be next after this project. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this wheel off and see if these drums come off easy. Emergency brake is off, by the way. All right, guys, I got it off. It's actually easy. There are two holes in the drum right here, and you just take a. Uh, tw I used a 12 millimeter. I think you can maybe use a 10 millimeter as well. And it has threads in there. You just get yourself a 10 millimeter bolt. 
screw it in there and then it, it pushes off the hub and it comes right off that's pretty easy okay so now next step i think obviously is sand this thing down get all the rust off all right guys i have on my mask and my safety glasses i am going to brush this i did have a drill attachment which did really well a wire wheel for my drill but i can't find it so this wire brush may have to do for now we'll see how it does well just doing that top part looks like it's not doing too bad of a job that just means it will just be a little bit more time consuming all right this side has been sanded not finished but good start not sanded or i shouldn't say sand i guess brushed but brushed not brushed so it's doing work it's doing a good job Spray clean. All right, guys. I sprayed the drum with some brake cleaner. You can also see I put some tape just over the the lug nut ho holes and the hub hole, just so whenever I spray the drum with the paint, that it doesn't go into the contact surface on the drum. So this is how it looks. I masked it off, and before. I begin, I'm going to be applying this grease and wax remover just to clean it right before I spray the paint. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down now. And then I'll show you guys a little POV of me spray painting this with my VHT. All right, guys. I went ahead and sanded each brake drum with 320 grit sandpaper. So I did the wire brush and then the 320 grit and then I went over it with this grease and wax remover. So they are nice and fresh. All right guys, I have on my protective gear. I'm here on the side of my house. This is really the only part that has shade right now. So this is where I'm gonna work. I actually have this on top of the box that my Synchrotech transmission came in. But anyways, hopefully you can hear me good. This is how I have them. I'm going to be using the VHC caliper paint. It basically says to put on two light coats and one medium coat at the end with 10 minutes between coats. So I'm going to go ahead and spray these and I'll show you how they look after the first coat. All right, guys, first coat is laid down. I don't know if I said or not, but this is a satin black. They do have a gloss black available, but I didn't want gloss on the brakes. That'd just be a little too much for me. I just want these basically not to be rust and to, you know, just kind of blend in with the rest of the car. So they are drums, you know, who really cares? I just didn't want rust, but I think the satin black will look quite nice. Anyways, this is after round one of light coat. Gonna let these dry for 10 minutes. And then I'll be back after the second coat. All right, here they are directly after round two. I think I put more of a, a medium coat than a light coat uh, this, this round. Probably put it on just a tiny bit too heavy, but you know, it's brake drums, doesn't really matter. And I actually don't see any, any runs or anything, so I think they'll be all right. This one's, you can tell I went a little heavy on it. I know it's not the best place, I have a tree above me, so I can already see there's probably some debris falling on these. But again, this is not something that's really going to be analyzed or anything like that. So, plus they kind of have kind of an orange peel appearance. That's not because of the paint. That's actually how the drums are. So, I'm not worried about it. I'm not going for, you know, perfection or a professional paint job on this. I just, again, I just want them covered. But... They're looking good so far. I really like the satin black. All right, next step is 
I will wait 10 minutes, let this cure a little bit, and then I will do a little bit heavier coat for round three. And I'll show you guys what that is. All right, I have let the rotors sit all night. I'm sorry, the drums sit all night. I waited about three hours before I touched them, and then I just went ahead and mocked them up on the on the hub here. I wanted to see if the, the rear drums needed to be tightened or anything, and I don't think so. I mean, I think they're all right. There's a little bit of drag there, but yeah, anyways, man, this finish came out really, really good. The other side, of course, looks exactly the same, but I'm really liking this. On the instructions, it did say that they need to cure. You can either put them in the oven at 200 degrees for one hour, or it says that you can just, you know, heat cycle the brakes, basically just use the brakes, and it will do that to add durability. I, I'm not gonna put these in the oven. To me, that's that's not really worth it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run these on the car and see how they last. And yeah, if they start to chip or or whatever or degrade, I will definitely let you guys know in another video. But anyways, man, I think they look really good. They're gonna look also really good with my satin black wheels, at least for now, until I get those HX wheels done. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My car is in the garage, so I got lots of projects going, including that, and stay tuned if you wanna see me guys use this. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.